there's no way for this volcano except to erupt. I mean, that, that's the guidance. Today on Rappler, Albay needs about 118 million pesos monthly to prepare for Mayon's eruption. Pro-democracy protesters clash with opposition. And Australia launches airstrikes against ISIS. Hello, I'm Paterno S. Makel. Welcome to Rappler, your social news network. The province of Albay says it will need at least 117.7 million pesos or 2.6 million dollars every month to prepare for Mayon Volcano's explosion. There are more than 50,000 people in evacuation centers in various parts of the province. Albay Governor Joey Salceda says there's no way for this volcano except to erupt. It's only a question of time. State Weather Bureau Pagasa warns a typhoon will enter the Philippines over the weekend. Typhoon Panphone will be named Neneng once it enters the Philippine area of responsibility. It's expected to be at 1,180 kilometers northeast of Itbayat, Batanes by Saturday morning, bringing rain to most parts of the country. Check out Rappler's Project Agua's microsite, a one-stop shop to help the public prepare better for disasters. Project Agos aims to raise awareness on climate change adaptation and disaster risk reduction and management. You can see what to do before, during, and after natural disasters like floods and earthquakes. Visit www.rappler.com slash Project Agos. Audit Commissioner Heidi Mendoza testified against the BNICE in a Senate hearing Thursday. Mendoza said based on a past special audit report, dubious transactions happened while Elenita Binay was mayor, but the Binay camp downplays Mendoza's testimony, saying it's from a discredited graph complaint. The case was dismissed in 2011 for a, quote, fundamental issues of arbitrariness by anti graph court Sandigan Bayan. The U.S. partially lifts a 40-year ban on arms sales to former foe Vietnam to help boost defenses in the tense South China Sea. Observers say the decision will not sit well with leaders in Beijing. U.S. officials deny the policy change is anti-China and will consider each request from Vietnam on a case-by-case -case basis. And in Hong Kong, pro-democracy protesters clash with opposition groups. Police step in, creating a barricade separating the clashing groups. The clashes continue to keep the city at a standstill, with protesters threatening to occupy government buildings. The perils of climate change, what used to be one of the world's largest lakes, is now mostly a desert. Dramatic images from space agency NASA taken Tuesday reveal the Aral Sea in Central Asia shrinking at a rapid pace. The UN Environment Program says the only way to save what remains of the Aral Sea would be transboundary cooperation among former Soviet nations Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Australia launches airstrikes against terrorist group Islamic State of Iraq and Syria or ISIS Friday. Around 600 Australian troops joined the US-led air assault. Australia also transports weapons to Kurdish forces fighting ISIS in northern Iraq. Let's now look at Rappler's Rap for today, a list of the 10 most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. At number 2, a new United Nations report reveals terrorist group Islamic State of Iraq and Syria or ISIS considers women as goods to be raped, sold as sex slaves, or given as a prize to its fighters. ISIS even opened an office in Iraqi city Mosul to sell abducted women. Teenage boys are also not spared from sexual assaults. The UN condemns these crimes against humanity. At number 7, health officials in Texas monitor at least 100 people for Ebola symptoms after being in contact with patient Thomas Eric Duncan. Four close family members of the patient are legally required to stay home without visitors until October 19. Duncan traveled to Ebola-stricken Liberia before returning to the United States. This year's Ebola outbreak is the deadliest in history, having claimed more than 3,000 lives. And at number 8, 
Prince William and wife Kate take legal action against a photographer for stalking their son, Prince George. The move comes after a photographer tried to take pictures of the prince in London's Battersea Park. The royal couple insists their son, quote, must be permitted to lead as ordinary a life as possible. For the full top 10, visit rapper.com's The Rap. Every story on Rapper has a mood meter which gives you 8 emotions to choose from. Click how you feel and your vote comes down to the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, which crowdsources the mood of the day. It also gives you the top 10 stories with the most clicks. We have several negative stories in our mood navigator today. Over here we have red stories. Isra Islamists uh, rape and sell women because they are war booties. 90% of readers have voted angry. Over here, in photos, PNP chiefs, Nueva Ecija home, 80% angry. And we also have two stories that make people sad. A sea vanishes, satellite photos show disappearing aerial sea, 67% sad. And the story that got the most number of votes on the Mood Navigator today, comedian Tiaposit dies, 92% sad. These uh, sad stories brought out the mood of the day on the Mood Navigator. Today, most people are sad. That is Rapper's newscast for today, Friday, October 3, 2014. Visit rapper.com and watch our newscast Monday to Friday. Tell us how you feel on the mood meter and help us crowdsource the mood of the day. I'm Paterno S. Makel. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today. There's no way for this volcano except to erupt. I mean, that, that's the guidance.